Hello friends, welcome back to the shop. Today is Sunday, December 18th, and it is a beautiful crisp winter day here in southeastern Pennsylvania. Not quite officially winter yet, I know, but it sure feels like it. Uh, day is off to a good start, second day of vacation. I'm a happy man. I've got my uh, Talbert Ligne Britannia billiard here, the beautiful raven wing finish. And let me get this lid again. I may actually have to repack this, but I am enjoying this morning, and I am enjoying it. Some St. Bruno. I've got five packs of this. This is the first one I've opened. Uh, it was sent to me. It was sent to me by a friend, and unfortunately, I do not remember right now who it was. I've got it written down somewhere, but I apologize for that. Uh, been avoiding it, been avoiding trying it for a while because uh, I've heard it's Lakelandy, and as you all know, I'm afraid of Lakeland. Uh, but my buddy Everett Young encouraged me to try it, and I thought, well, it would make a nice Christmas blend, holiday blend to add to my mix, and uh, sure enough, I'm enjoying it. Very nice. This is St. Bruno Ready Rubbed, by the way. And this is the McBaron version. Um, not easy to find, I understand, but nice. Maybe I'll I'll do a video about this another time. But uh, yeah, it's enjoyable. We had a great time on the live stream uh, on Friday. We had our annual chat with Santa, and uh, Santa was great. We re really enjoyed it. Uh, folks have a lot of good questions for him. Um, if you haven't seen it, go back and watch uh, last Friday night's live stream with Santa. It was a good time. And Santa was, in addition to answering all the questions and just being a sport, towards the end, he, uh, he had a little inspirational message for us, uh, which I thought was quite nice. Yeah, he said... It's been a rough year for a lot of folks. You know, a lot of folks have lost loved ones. A lot of folks have been sick, uh, had financial difficulties. Um, I don't know why, but it, it's true. It's just been a really rough year for a lot of people. Um, and he said, you know, keep that in mind. Pray for one another. Be nice to one another. Help one another when you can. And, uh, you know, we do that as in our community, and, and we should be proud of that. But... It's a good thing to do, and we, we, you know, it was a nice reminder that that's part of what this season is all about. And then later in the show, I was talking about a thought that occurred to me, and uh, I've had a little bit more time to reflect on this, but let's talk for a minute about the quote, true meaning of Christmas. Um, and this is going to get into religion a bit, but I don't mean this to be a faith chat or any anything. I'm not trying to convert anybody. It just let's talk about the facts around Christmas. So Christmas is a celebration of the birth of Christ. That's that's the idea behind it, uh, if, you're, if you're a Christian. And, you know, it's celebrating the fact that God incarnated as a man in order to share in our humanity, in order to save us from our sin. And uh, we won't get into the details around that, but that's that's the reason why Christians celebrate Christmas. And the season leading up to that, which, which we call Advent, is this time of anticipation. We're waiting for that event. We're, we're, we're anticipating it. And we are doing that in a prayerful manner. It's it's similar to Lent in a lot of ways. In fact, it's 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 very similar to Lent, and it should be a time of, of prayer and contemplation and preparation for the the day of Christmas. And really, Christmas for a Christian doesn't really start until Christmas Day, and then there's a celebration that extends beyond that. But of course, in our secular world, we begin seeing 
Christmas decorations back in October. Uh, we started seeing Hallmark Christmas movies back in October. Couldn't even wait for Halloween to finish, for goodness sake. Uh, you know, and it's all about gifts and lights and, 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 and parties and decorations and everything else. And how did that all start? And I think that at some point, someone said, yeah, I'm going to have to reload this. I apologize, but I started the bowl earlier and uh, probably should have reloaded before. So at some point, someone said, you know, the kids aren't really joining in this anticipation. Kids are not, uh, or my child is, is just not anticipating, uh, not, not looking forward to this day as much as I am. Maybe if I offer them something, a little treat that will occur on that day, uh, then they can anticipate it along with me. You know, maybe they're a young child and they just don't understand this whole thing about God becoming incarnate. And so, there's, you know, if you, if you, you'll get a little something that day. And, and somebody had that idea at some point, and here we are today. You know, it, it's grown out of something like that. Of course, I don't know that for a fact, but that, that's what I imagine happened. And here we are in this crazy, crazy secular Christmas season. And I don't mean secular as a, as a negative. It's just, you know, there's a lot of people, a lot of people, maybe many of you, that are in a celebratory mood right now and looking forward to next Sunday without any thought of, of, of Christ, without any thought of religion. Maybe they're not even Christian. You know, there, there's probably many Muslims and, and Jews and Buddhists and Hindus that are, you know, going to Christmas parties and, and, and planning a, a, a big meal on, on Christmas. And that's fine. You know, it, so what do we get out of that? What is the value? And, you know, I think in all this craziness and all this, you know, gift buying frenzy and, and baking and party going and whatnot, we are filled with this sense of being kind to one another, doing the right thing, sharing, uh, sharing what we have, maybe contributing to charities, uh, helping other people out. You know, even the atheist among us probably view this as a season of giving, of a season of friendship and family and, and all those good things. And so I kind of was talking about this a little bit on Friday night. And my friend Phil Rivera said, well, yeah, but shouldn't we be doing that all year? He said it much more eloquently. But, and, you know, he's absolutely right. Uh, of course we should be doing it all year. Uh, why do we need Christmas to tell us to be a good person? Why do we need Christmas to tell us to take care of one another? Should be doing it all year. And I thought, well, okay, but there's still something special going on here. Now, this time of year is down. By the way, I took out the luxury powder shop haunted bookshop. There's still something special going on here. And, uh, you know, I don't think we should toss that out. So what does that mean? I thought, well, maybe this is just the annual reminder. It's a refresher course. It's, it's the annual training on how to be a good and kind person. How to treat your neighbor with respect. How to take care of one another. Regardless of beliefs, regardless of background, job, how they choose to decorate their house or not decorate their house. What kind of car they drive, what kind of music they listen to, the color of their skin, their age, their sex, their choice of lifestyle. You don't have to like it. You don't have to agree with it. But you need to be kind. You need to understand that beneath that stuff is another human being. Just like you. And uh, we may disagree bitterly. 
on things. Let's just say things. But that doesn't mean we want to see one another suffer. Or at least it shouldn't mean that. It shouldn't mean that we see someone in need and don't help them. You know, it shouldn't mean that when we're at the, 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 the store, and I, I went, did a little bit of shopping yesterday, it was crazy. I don't know why I went out the Saturday before Christmas, Saturday before Christmas weekend, I should say. Uh, the traffic was crazy. The stores were packed. I was trying to push a shopping cart around a Wegmans, which was stupid. I, <laughs> I should have just carried the stuff because there wasn't enough room for a shopping cart. Um, and there were times when I probably shot in front of someone to get by faster and, uh, you know, might have might have bumped someone or something. And, you know, I tried to say, excuse me, and, you know, tried to smile at people when they were in my way and, and all that. But, you know, it's hard. It's hard. And just being kind and, and being happy and smiling at people and saying, excuse me, and stopping for a minute to let that person pass you by. Not trying to grab that parking spot because it's three cars closer to the entrance to the store. The trash has come, and they've taken away all the trash, and they've left the, the the bins at the side of the the street, and and you you're dragging your bins back up, and you notice that your neighbor hasn't dragged their bins back up. Well, maybe you drag them up for them. Yeah, it's little things like that that we should be doing every day. And the fact is, you know, a lot of times we don't want to do him because, ah, why am I going to do that? He's never brought my bin. Well, maybe it's because he's never thought of it. And maybe if he sees that you've done it, he'll do it. Maybe he'll do it for his neighbor next door, you know, the neighbor on the other side. And before you know it, nobody will be bringing their own trash bins. <laughs> I don't know. This, this, this analogy obviously got away from me, but you, you know what I mean. Be kind. Be respectful. Uh, sometimes we get busy and we, we don't realize there's a human being. It's easy on, on Instagram or social media. There's a human being on the other end of that message. But even when we're face to face with them, sometimes we forget that you know, behind all that annoyance and aggravation and everything else that makes me see something different. There's a human being just like me, someone that I should be kind to, someone that I should share with, someone that I should support, someone that can do the same for me. And maybe that's the value in this secular Christmas. You know, maybe if you strip away, you know, you take Christ out of Christmas, as, as the saying goes, and you strip all that away and you just have the hullabaloo around this season. Maybe it's just a reminder a refresher course, a training, an annual training that we should be good people and be kind to one another. Well, folks, that's kind of the, the message I wanted to get across here. Uh, keep Christmas in your life every day of the year. There we go. And if it's all about Christ for you and, and you are a, a Christian and you're, you're anticipating the birth of our Lord, well, God bless you, and, and that's good too, but keep that spirit, that knowledge that he walked among us and, and, and that he, he graced us by saving us. Keep that in mind every day of the year, not just on the 25th of December. Yeah. So, I am going to continue to enjoy my pipe, which is now loaded with Haunted Bookshop, but the St. Bruno is excellent. I'm going to drink some more coffee. And I'm going to try to get some uh, some work done down here. I'm still building that darn kraut cutter. I'm trying to make a box for it. 
So I'll be cutting some dovetails and having a big old time. I hope you have a wonderful Saturday. Sunday. Whew, Saturday, where did that come from? Hope you have a wonderful Sunday. I will not be doing a video next week because it is Christmas Day. Uh, but we will be doing a live stream on Friday night. We're going to have some Christmas shenanigans. You can see I've decorated, by the way. Decorated, by the way. Uh, we'll be doing something. I don't know what. I've had a lot of suggestions like, you know, best and worst Christmas movie or best and worst Christmas dinner, uh, you know, that kind of stuff. We'll, we'll, we'll have some fun. Got a special beer. Might pull out a special pipe and uh, some, some holiday tobaccos. I'll probably enjoy some St. Bruno. So join us Friday night, 8 p.m. Eastern for the live stream. No video on Sunday, Christmas Day. So I hope you all have a wonderful and blessed Christmas. I hope you share it with friends and family. I hope you're all kind to one another. And I hope you all love one another as much as I love you all. Merry Christmas, my friends. And until we speak again, I look forward to talking to you all again very soon. Goodbye now. Mm -hmm.